This job was just massive in its undertaking. This is the largest, probably the biggest replanting job, the tallest replanting job in the world at the time. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 times massive construction projects went wrong. It defies belief that it's still standing. For this list, we'll be looking at major projects that were costly, disastrous, flawed, tragic, or all of the above. Which ones did we leave out? Let us know in the comments. Number 10, the Aeon Center, Chicago, United States. Sometimes aesthetics just aren't practical. The Aeon Building in Chicago was completed in 1974, then known as the Standard Oil Building. It is an 80-story office building that in addition to having three name changes or three different names, also has had two facades. It was the tallest building in the city at the time, as well as the fourth tallest in the world. The building itself is structurally sound and earthquake resistant, among other things. However, the original design had an exterior clad in relatively thin slabs of Italian Carrara marble, which looked nice, but proved to be problematic. With the building known as Big Stan exposed to the extremes of Chicago weather, the outside of the panels were repeatedly heated or cooled more dramatically than the inside. This gradually and permanently altered the internal structure of the marble, causing the panels to bow outwards. In fact, a large piece of the marble fell during construction and broke through the roof of a neighboring building. In 1985, an inspection revealed cracks and warping to the marble. In 1990, an estimated $80 million project was implemented to replace it with white granite. We had to take off 43,000 pieces of marble and replace it with 43,000 pieces of granite, all done on the outside and the building is still occupied. Number 9. The Sampung Department Store, Seoul, South Korea the Sampung department store was originally designed as a four-story residential apartment complex, but during construction in 1987, the plan changed. Lee Jun, chairman of Sampung Group, altered the original blueprints, cutting out support columns and adding a fifth floor. After contractors warned him of serious structural flaws, he fired them and completed the building anyway. You can see where this is going. In 1995, cracks began to appear. Lee Jun was warned of imminent collapse. He and other executives left the building but refused to evacuate staff and customers for fear of revenue loss. The building collapsed, killing 502 people and injuring almost 1,000 others. Lee Jun served seven and a half years in prison. Number 8. The San Francisco-Oakland Bay Bridge Eastern Span Replacement, California, United States Things often sound simple until they're put into practice. In 2002, construction began to replace a portion of the Bay Bridge in San Francisco. The discarded portion was seismically unstable, making it necessary to replace. The project was originally estimated at $250 million, but upon completion 11 years later, came with a price tag of $6.5 billion. It was the most expensive public project in Californian history. The replacement was plagued with issues. FBI investigation into rush welding jobs, allegedly falsified inspection records, bolt failures, water leaks, improperly filled beam foundations, and problematic project management, among others. So building bridges isn't only figuratively difficult, apparently. Number 7. Muskrat Falls Lower Churchill Project, Newfoundland and Labrador, Canada this decade-long hydroelectric project in Labrador has become a financial disaster for Canada. When the project was approved, the idea was for Muskrat Falls to generate clean, green energy and replace an outdated power plant. The project would create affordable energy attract industry that would provide jobs. Construction began in 2013, but it remains incomplete, years behind schedule, and $6 billion over budget. Energy company Nalcor reportedly assembled a team of experts in oil and gas for the project that lacked hydroelectric expertise. It is my pleasure, and it is my honor, as your Premier, and as a Newfoundlander and Labradorian, to officially sanction the Muskrat Falls. Critics claim that government officials blindly trusted the experts and gave them free reign financially. Engineering firm SNC Lavanlan was initially overseeing the project, but reportedly found Nalcor difficult to work with. There are also environmental and health concerns, with a study from Harvard University concluding that the project will lead to an increase in methyl mercury levels in fish. The original analysis did not reflect a complete picture of the costs, risks, and obligations based upon Newfoundland, Labrador taxpayers and ratepayers. Number 6. The Tower of Pisa, Pisa, Italy. 
The site of perhaps the most taken tourist photo of all time, the Leaning Tower of Pisa's claim to fame is its foundational failure. Completion of the tower took around two centuries, which is a substantial amount of time for a crooked building. Foundations were originally laid in 1173, using stones subsidized by a wealthy local widow. Workers compensated for the tower's minor tilt by making the next few floors taller on the southern side. But the weight of the extra masonry made that side sink even deeper. By the time they completed the seventh floor and bell chamber, the angle of the tilt was 1.6 degrees. In 1178, when construction had begun on the second floor, the tower began to sink due to a shallow foundation in unstable soil. Various wars put construction on hold for nearly a century, allowing the soil to harden and preventing collapse. Until the early 20th century, very little was known about the properties of soil. It was thought of merely if you put your building on the ground and you try to put it on rock, you can't put it on rock, you spread the load out as much as you can. It was completed in 1372. Efforts have been made for centuries to stabilize the tower, most recently in 2001, when it was declared structurally stable for a projected 300 years. The greatest danger for the, the Tower of Pisa has not been that it should simply fall over because of its weight. There are other dangers as well, one of which is the incredible amount of stress which is produced on certain areas of the tower due to the weight of the tower. Number five, the Willow Island Cooling Tower, West Virginia, United States. In 1978, Allegheny Energy ordered the construction of a large power plant at Willow Island, West Virginia. In April of that year, workers were busy with the construction of the second cooling tower. Instead of the scaffolding having a base on the ground, it was moved up and bolted into new concrete as the tower was built. The pourable concrete was brought up by a crane atop the scaffolding. On April 27th, the cable pulling up the concrete slackened, causing the crane to fall inward. The scaffolding tore free of the previous day's concrete, layers of concrete peeled off from the tower, and 51 workers fell to their deaths. An investigation concluded that construction had been rushed and failed to follow safety procedures. In the end, the Pleasant's cooling tower collapse resulted from the failure of two elements found at nearly every major construction site. Concrete and scaffolding. The disaster was tragic proof that such elements, no matter how common, can never be taken for granted. Number 4, 20 Fenchurch Street, London, United Kingdom. Completed in 2014, 20 Fenchurch Street in London was quickly nicknamed the walkie-talkie by locals, thanks to its odd shape. It was designed by Uruguayan architect Rafael Vignoli and cost over 200 million pounds. In 2015, it was given Building Design Magazine's prestigious Carbuncle Cup, an architecture award for the ugliest building of the year. Other than aesthetic displeasure, the building's shape was discovered to be hazardous during construction. Basically, you've got a vast area that's collecting sunlight, and it's focused focusing it down onto a tiny point, which is where we're standing. So all that sunlight that's hitting that building is being focused down there. It's like being under a magnifying glass. During a specific time of day, for at least two hours, the sun would hit the building in a way that created burning light beams between 196 and 243 degrees Fahrenheit, much like a concave mirror. This caused damages to parked cars, actually melting the bodywork of some vehicles. Anything in the direct glare of the reflection can literally go up in smoke. It damages this car parked nearby. It's caused carpets to smolder, tiles to smash. It's so hot you can even fry an egg and singe your hair trying. Number three, the Sydney Opera House, Sydney, Australia. Some say it's wonderful, others think it's dreadful. The Sydney Opera House was designed by Jorn Utzen, an award-winning Danish architect. Utzen was put in charge of directing construction in 1958. Early in construction, however, it was found that the podium wasn't strong enough to support the shell structures, and it had to be rebuilt. A shell structure is like an egg. You know, if you want to break an egg, you tap it, but you can actually squeeze an egg, you know, really quite hard behind the things. And because all the forces are in that double curved shape, it, it doesn't, it doesn't break. It took six years to figure out how to design and build these shells. The original projected cost for the structure was around 7 million Australian dollars, yet ended up costing 102 million, over 1 billion Australian dollars by today's standards, or around 700 million US dollars. The result is certainly spectacular, but it does have major problems with its acoustics due to its design. A tremendous feat of architectural imagination and structural realization. A monument to its designer, and to all who persevered 
in its construction. Number two, the Darien Scheme. Construction disasters are not a modern phenomenon. In the late 1690s, Scottish investors thought to gain wealth and authority by establishing a colony on the Isthmus of Panama, the strip of land that links North and South America. The colonization plan was an expensive failure. The initial settlement was abandoned twice and resulted in numerous deaths due to famine, tropical diseases, and conflicts with the Spanish. Scotland had invested 20% of its economy on the endeavor and was ultimately financially ruined, resulting some say in the Acts of Union with England in 1707. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into settings and switch on your notifications. Number 1. The Tacoma Bridge, Washington, United States There's a chance you've seen this footage and perhaps wondered if it was real. It definitely was. In 1938, construction began on the Tacoma Narrows Bridge in Washington State. During construction, workers nicknamed the bridge Galloping Gertie as it tended to move in windy conditions. This should have been a red flag for the people running the show. But, uh, whatever, let's just keep building. In July of 1940, the bridge was open to the public. It collapsed in November of that year. In a way that almost seems cartoonish. The structure basically twisted like rubber before it crumbled. In simplified form, the frequency of the wind matched the frequency of the bridge structure, amplifying the movement. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.